So, I guess I'll just post a picture of, or a video of Anpan, which would be one of my kitties. Not a very good video. Um, I don't know if there is anybody that does follow my channel. Kind of doubt it, but it's mostly for um, memory purposes to remember these moments and have access to them later. The channel was named after Pilvi, my male parakeet, and usually showed his little little antics and things I did with him. Both he and his wife Orla passed away suddenly about two weeks ago. And because of the timing around Memorial Day weekend, I was not able to take them to a vet. The one night, Pilvi seemed a little more tired than usual, but it was around midnight and he would get sleepy. So I put him on the perch, I gave him kisses, he stepped up just fine. And the next morning, I found him dead at the bottom of the cage. So... Orla seemed fine, but I was pretty upset about it. I was late for work, and I went to work for about, I think it was a regular eight-hour work day, and I came home to find Orla paralyzed at the bottom of her cage. She could not use her feet. And... I was so upset because I knew I was losing my other bird. And I went to get in the cage to get her, and she used every ounce of her energy in her wings that she could still use and flew out of the cage and smacked into the window, which she has smacked into things before. And even Pilvi has done it once or twice, so perhaps it was nerve damage. But we rushed her to the emergency vet, that was about less than 10 minutes away, and she died a few minutes away from it. Um, I was unable to find the actual cause of death for both of them. So we were afraid it was some kind of sickness spreading th through my birds. Which we also have two sun conures in the same room. One of them is mine, known as fly uh, Firefly. The other is Papaya. I was so scared that I called off work the next day to watch over them. Of course, they're fine. They're, they checked out healthy at the vet and everything. I have Pilvi and Orla's ashes in nice little boxes. I might make a little video of it later. The vets were very nice about it. I had um, a vet appointment that Monday after Memorial Day for Orla. But she had died before then, so I had to call the vet and let them know. They sent me a, a nice little card I received about a week ago. It was so sweet. They had actually stamped their feet on these little pieces of paper and put it into a card with their condolences. It was so nice. I started crying again. So this channel hasn't really been much of anything other than me recording my animals because you never know when something's going to happen. Sometimes it just happens out of nowhere like it did with Bilby and Orla. But since I have these videos on the channel, I'm able to look back on all those sweet moments I had with my Pilby and Orla. So. I'll just keep uploading videos, I guess, if anyone's interested. Nothing special, but it's nice for my family and friends to look at, to see all these animals we consider to be our family. So this is Anpan, my little cinnamon-colored kitty. I call him Chubby Bunny because he loves to eat. He will eat people food. He doesn't care. He's got an iron stomach. And he is super, super affectionate, as you can see. He's been bumping his face against me all day. 
I have a half shift at work today, so I, I'm here in the morning. I also have a black and white cat named Sweeney Todd. He has like a special needs tummy. He's been puking for months from scarfing down his food, not chewing and eating three or more pieces at a time. So we have a special food bowl for him that slows him down. And for the past four days, he hasn't puked, which is good. But he has a vet appointment because he had the runs and everything. And around this area of Todd's face is like very thin hair. And around his neck has bear spots. I thought it was from his collar, but could be from a food allergy. So we, we've been trying different foods and they've just been making him sick. So There are also two other cats that are my friends. That would be Mochi, the gray and white one. She's getting a little fat. And Red you barely ever see because he's just not that big on people. He'll come up to you a little bit, but boy, is he in love with Mochi. You can find him cuddling up to her and everything. Oh my god, you're so lazy. You're so lazy. Blip. Blip, blip, blip. <laughs> This collar actually is really, really good. I got it from Very Vintage on uh, Etsy. So his is held up. However, Todd's not so much. He's got a red one. That's kind of like a, a checker plaid color. And I think it's because he was constantly scratching at his bare spots that the threads have started to come out of the collar. Hey, what are you doing? Our sun conures are Firefly, which is a boy, and Papaya, which is a girl. Papaya is very stubborn, and she doesn't like you coming from the back to touch her. And Firefly is just a sweetheart. He, They sleep outside of the cage at night. They crawl up underneath of the blanket that covers them. And then in the morning, Firefly will fly over to me in the morning. Beep, 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 beep. Your nose is dry. Uh, we temporarily have two bunnies because, uh, we went to an auction to get some baby chickens and instead, that was mochi, and instead of, well not instead of, we got the chicks, we got seven of them and one passed away, and we only plan on keeping one of them, so, uh, my friend got two bunnies for a co-worker's daughter, and she decided she didn't want them, so we were selling those, but no one's been selling, so we have to send them back to the auction to find a new home. Belly! Has anybody ever wondered how you can tickle a cat? Totally, totally off subject, but not like my subject matters. In the back feet. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> his toes will stay like that, and he always goes after his toes after this. No? Tickle? Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah. Toe beans. Well, anyway, there's that. I'm fun. Say bye.